This family here at the Avery Botanic Gardens are ready yes, for a I'll, lecture. Once again, my name is Maxwell. Avery Garden is among the 1,600 botanical gardens in the world. It was established by the British in 1890. It covers a total land area of 160 acres. Um, it's a very big place. We will not be able to finish it because of time. But I will take you through the important places and then until we end it. The main activities of this garden include horticulture training, scientific research, plants multiple cases, environmental education, and then managing natural reserves. That is the main activities of this garden. We have these trees that were brought from Lebanon, planted in 1895. These are cedars of Lebanon. Do you read the Bible? Of course. Yeah, this is what King Solomon used to build the Temple of God. When you read Psalm 92 verse 12, it says, The righteous flourish like the palm tree and grow like cedar in Lebanon. This is what the Bible talks about. We have parasitic trees grown on them. This one you see is a parasite. Can you see that? Mm -hmm. Parasitism is a relationship between two species, plants and animals, in which one benefits at the expense of the other. So the parasite is feeding on the cedar tree. What it means is that the cedar is going to die and the parasite takes over. It grows from the top to the bottom, the parasite. That is pure wickedness. Mm. There are people like this tree. Do you believe that? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. You have to believe because this world is a wicked place to live. Yes. Human beings are easily turned for evil. And that is why you have to be careful the kind of friends you work with. Mm -hmm. and I hope you understand that. Yes. So all the cedar trees you see here are going to die very soon. Yes, there is one completely empty down there. So you are going to walk inside and you look up. Have you entered inside the tree before? No, yes. You have not? Mm -hmm. Yes, it's good I came here. <laughs> People climb from inside up to the top. Mm. But if you have not stolen mangoes before, you cannot climb that tree. <laughs> have you stolen mangoes? No. <laughs> Only mango stealers. Yeah. Yes, Those guys climb trees like monkeys. They are very, very fast, you understand? Okay. So when we get there, you go inside, take picture and come out. Anything that you don't understand, ask, because speaking is better than seeing. Is there anything that you don't understand before we continue? All right, now turn around and look at this tree. This is a thick tree. Thick, thick, you know, thick wood. Thick, oh, yeah. thick. Oh, you understand? Yeah. Thick wood is very good. That is what we use for the light poles. Electricity poles is made from thick wood. We also make, use make furniture, you understand? Now, the leaf that we see is used as lipsticks. A few years ago, the women in the northern part of the country used that as lipsticks, you understand? So they don't worry their husband to give them money to buy lipsticks in the market. They get lipsticks from the tree. And when you go to the market to buy meat, that is what you're going to use to wrap the meat for you. It, is, it will preserve the meat for a very long time before it gets spoiled. You see? Mm -hmm. So this is the leaf I have here in my hand. I'm going to crush it. Uh, to become red and then you know uh, that's what you're going to put on your lips mm. yes wow. so that is how it is see the way it is it will turn red well, are you running oh. <laughs> that is amazing i need some of those trees so you put this on your lips and you're good to go. Mm -hmm. Will you worry your husband for money? So who wanna try it? Who wanna try the real lipstick? Oh, yeah. Any volunteer? Oh, Let me see if it's really red on your lips. Yeah. Family, is that is incredible. Yeah, it's amazing. Oh, yes. Goodness. Look at that. Oh that is awesome. <laughs> Uh, get, your get, your little, get your little jar and put it in the jar. Oh, wow. <laughs> you don't see here. We can sell lipstick. The time goes from here. Natural lipstick. Oh my God. Yeah. Let me see. Did I get it? Yeah, it kind of makes sense. It's like light red. This big. Oh, so mm -hmm. Oh, wow. So, um, that is how it is. Natural. Uh, yeah. Lipstick. That is amazing. And re re repeat the name of the tree again. Teak. 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 Like the teak wood. Yeah. Yes. Oh, my Lord. Wow. That's amazing. I love that. Yeah, you can see electrical. Electrical. He said electrical for electricity. Yeah, for the pole. Who does it, baby? The pole. The pole. The pole. See the pole here. Look at the pole. This pole. Yeah. Yes. No, no. This one. This one. Wait, wait. Let me look at it. Let me make sure I'm looking at the right one. This, this here tree. No, no, no. That's not a tree. It's not this.
That one, that, that makes that? Okay, see? Oh. This key. To make the, oh, okay, I understand that. Okay. Yes, that is an... I thought it was avocado, but it's not. So yes, family, Bomani Taimba in the flesh, and we're here at the Avery Botanic Gardens, and we're enjoying our nature walk, nature slash educational walk. Very soon, everything is going to come out and inside be hollow. The one around is the parasite. You get that? Take over. Yes, so. <laughs> Crabs in a bucket, barrels and so all that, that good stuff. It's completely empty, so you can walk inside there, you look up. The one you see coming down here, this one, the first one, is going to wrap it like this and then eventually kill the cedar inside. The landlord is dead, the caretaker has become the owner. Ah, good way to put it. That's it. So that's how long does it take for so this shea butter is a tree see the fruit on the tips of the branches can you see the green fruit up there Mm -hmm. Oh yes. Yeah. Wait, 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 hold up. Let's not let's be specific. Which one? We talking. You point we're, we're talking about this one. Where's it? No, wait, 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 wait. See? No, see, see. See the Oh I see it. I see it. <laughs> no, those are those are shea nuts. What is that? Um um when it gets matured, we eat it raw. Do you understand? The fruit is very sweet mm -hmm. and the seed that is being processed to make the butter, it has to go through a lot of process to get to, to get the oil. Mm -hmm. It is very difficult. Mm -hmm. First of all, you have to collect the seeds, dry the seeds and then you cook it. When you cook the seeds, you dry them in the sun again mm -hmm. and then crack them, get the nut out of the shell and then you pound it. After pounding, you fry it again and then you take it to granite meal, make it like granite paste. Then you bring it back home. There's a pot that is made of clay. You're going to put everything in the pot, set fire under, and then you put a stick in the middle of the pot. Stick. When it starts boiling, you start stirring around the pot for 45 minutes or an hour. The oil comes on top, and then you scoop it. There is something black that goes to settle under the pot, very black. So we use that to paint our local buildings. Whenever it rains, water does not penetrate into the wall, so it is going to last long. Wow. The back of the tree is medicinal. When you have runny stomach, you cut the back, cook it, and drink. It stops immediately. That is diarrhea. So this, yeah, so this is very good. You see, every part of the tree is useful. And before the garden was established, this was the first building, 1875. It was built for our colonial governors. Colonial governors. I think you are aware that Ghana was formerly called Gold Coast. Do you know that? So they were staying in this building, 146 years old now. Mm. Everywhere you go in Africa, you see this British star. Oh, yes. 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 They left their yes. <laughs> the remnants of the, the remnants of the colonizers. Mm -hmm. So we, let's see the evidence. You got your, your, yeah. We are the evidence. That's right. Let's see the evidence. Uh, let's see the evidence. <laughs> Yes, family, taking that beautiful nature walk in the Avery Botanic Gardens, and it is incredible, family. Enjoying our wonderful Ghana May 2022 20, journey of a lifetime. Back in Ghana for the 21st time on tour. We call it monkey pot tree, monkey pot. The tree grows pot. Can you see the pot up there? Oh, yeah. This is so much. I mean, it's so much wood here. Yeah. See the pot? Yeah, it's it's this one. Yeah. But the one is inside yeah. this wood. Did you see the pot? Yeah. 
Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, see, see. All I know is that thing look heavy, so everybody, um, just make sure that nothing falls on you. A sunflower, like a, like a sunflower, yeah. right? Look, yes. now listen, listen. Uh, uh, it's good to listen, okay? Yeah. Look at me. Okay. Oh, now, this ahead. is the empty oh, one right. here. Can you see the one up? That one you see up, it's not open yet. Right. There's a cover here. There's a leaf. That's a leaf. Yeah. And the fruit is in the pot. That is sweet. It's not only for monkeys. Everybody eats it. Uh -huh. What happened is this. When the pot gets matured, the, the leaf becomes detached on its own and the fruit falls. So when the monkeys come to eat the fruit, they put the head in the pot and the head gets stuck. That's how they die. Monkeys are very smart, but when it comes to food, they're stupid. They <laughs> Have you ever seen monkey give you banana to another monkey? No. <laughs> they don't give because they don't used to give. So if someone tells you, you are greedy like monkey, it's a big insult. Yes. What you do is to go home and commit suicide. You don't deserve to live again. It looks so like an animal. No. Yeah. When the monkey yeah. put the head in the pot, eat the fruit, the just becomes big. Here, becomes very big. So instead of to spit some of the fruit in the pot and be able to remove the head, mm -hmm. monkey will prefer to die in the pot than to let it go. It is very difficult for monkey to let it go. So our people used to say that if you eat alone, you will die alone. It is very difficult to share what you have little, that is a fact. Mm. But if you can share what you have little, mm. anytime you are in trouble, people will help you. Mm. When you give, God will cause other people to give you. It's a principle, but monkeys don't give at all. That's why they die. Mm. Yeah, so uh, if wow. I see some of them up. Yeah, because I can see that one right there. Mm -hmm. All I know is that thing is heavy, just don't let that thing drop near you. Because this is dangerous. This can knock you out clean. Exactly. Yeah. All right, all right, all right. Let's let's go. But this is a huge tree family. Yes, isn't it amazing, man? To come to the motherland and set up shop. And then after, you know, and yeah, some of them have to run after a while. <laughs> so colonization wasn't easy for them either, because you know, because our folks, we. Fight back. Don't let nobody ever tell you that we just stood there and get or got taken over. I, I'm gonna. I'm talking to the weather gods right now. I'm telling them to just give us about 30 minutes, then let it rain. I think they'll listen. <laughs> 